Okay. All righty. Well, welcome to the Project Intersect information session for teacher candidates at UNF. I'm Latrina Patrick. I am the project manager for Project Intersect, which just means I facilitate the grant and make sure that everything gets going. I'm not the program expert for that. We have Dr. Kathy Schofield, who is going to give an overview of the project itself and specifically how it relates to teacher candidates. And we'll take any questions after that. So Kathy, I'm gonna let you go ahead and take it on. Thanks, Latrina. So I'm Kathy Schofield and I'm the executive director of a nonprofit here in Jacksonville called the STEM2 Hub. And we are a very close partner with the University of North Florida. What I do in my role is I work with districts, schools, and universities to make sure that children are getting the kind of programs they need to get them ready for what some call the fourth industrial revolution or the um, emergence of technology into almost every career. And our organization thinks it's so important to help make sure that those critical workforce skills are in all of the programs. So through our partnership with the university, Dr. Diane Yendel Hoppe, the Dean of the College of Ed asked me to work with her and a few others on a grant, a US Department of Education grant. And it's called a SEED grant, which is really all about teacher professional development and lifelong learning. And I'm sure that as students, you all hear in your courses about what is available after you graduate. And so jumping into this project, we wrote for a very competitive US Department of Ed grant, 130 or so people applied and only 12 were awarded. And we were one of the groups that were awarded the grant. So Project Intersect really is about the name Intersect. We're working to take the intersection of several content areas that make up STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and look at how do we help shift primary teacher practices when there's already a packed school day to be able to infuse STEM plus computational thinking into their curriculum. And so you may be wondering, well, what does that even look like when I get out to my schools? And especially now in the pandemic, you may not even be having much chance to have field experiences. But imagine a classroom that looks a little like this, where young children are playing with technology toys, building things, designing things, telling stories that maybe a robot is part of it, or maybe they're building a city where the kids are gonna interact and play. And this play is super important. It's how kids learn, but if they do not have the context and if their teacher isn't able to see these teachable moments, for science, technology, engineering, math, and computational thinking, we miss a lot of opportunities. And since in most colleges and universities, pre-service teachers don't get these opportunities, the purpose of these grants or this grant is really to go and help bring working teachers into some of these kinds of experiences. So we are beyond excited that we can actually extend this to people who are still in college and learning to be teachers because these cutting edge skills are skills that you'll find, especially if you're applying around here, that having a badge in a certain area already will make you um, quite attractive to the principals that do the hiring. So this is basically what we call a job embedded professional learning experience for pre-K-2 teachers and for pre-service teachers. And the whole program is being offered online. So just to look at the overall program, so you see where pre-service fits in and where some of the teachers who may become your colleagues are um, getting involved, we're trying to build both content knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. 
we're trying to help without adding any more time to the day, which we can't do, help teachers learn to build that intersection or how to infuse these things into their pedagogy. And then also focusing on some very foundational social emotional skills for the young people, plus self-regulation skills, which setting those foundations early will only help them as they grow up through school. So why would you as a student or any teacher out there want to add more to their plate? Well, we think that this is an experience that's a little unique to UNF. And as you know, we're uniquely UNF. So we feel that this is just something that looking forward at your career pathway, you might be interested in. We also have built some stipends into it, even for pre-service teachers and the ability to get um, some materials even to take out into your schools when you're doing field experiences or internships. So I'm just going to give you just a tiny tease about what the programs are available to the Duval County teachers, which is first, they will be able to take graduate level courses in math using technology, computational thinking and engineering. And then they'll actually get to take an inquiry class around that. And that's the full blown deep dive that we're offering. For in-service teachers, we also have a moderate dive, which is the same content area, but through professional development. So not as heavy of a time lift and not the graduate credits, but again, things they can bring back to their practice. And for you, the pre-service teachers, what we're able to offer is badging. And badging or micro-credentials, as you may have heard them called, are things that you earn in a targeted area. And again, the badging will be based around using that technology piece in math, around coding and computational thinking, and around engineering. And you'll be able to receive mentoring, and you'll be able to um, work with your other students in the College of Education as a cohort should um, more than, um, you know, should more than one person happen to be taking the same class at the same time or um, have other collaboration opportunities. And you probably know we have the STEP lab at the College of Ed on the bottom floor, solve, tinker, explore, and play. And that room is like a playground of opportunity for these things. And as I mentioned, while all delivery is virtual, I do know that once the conditions are um, better, we will offer optional in the step lab workshops where you can take apart a robot and put it back together and have other experiences that really help you solidify what this opportunity looks like. I'm going to show you the, what those compensations are that I mentioned, and you can see here that those are pretty significant um, stipends for those teachers in both the deep dive and the moderate dive tracks. And for our college students, our people in the education program, we have the badging option, and we're basically going to, for every semester you participate, you'll receive $100 per semester over four semesters, so $400 stipend, plus each semester $200 worth of materials that you'll be able to take with you into your field experiences, your internship, and your career. So it is, um, it's a pretty interesting program, and these skills are the skills that we need to start teaching early. Through the lens of equity, it's so important that all, all children have these opportunities in a lot of places. And up until very recently, even here, those opportunities were reserved for kids who could stay after school or for kids who have an industry professional as a parent who can help expose them to these things. But we all wake up every day at the heart of opening these doors 
for every student, especially those that are underrepresented in those high tech, high wage, high demand careers. So the timeline very briefly is the badging would start in the fall semester and we'll be moving forward with that over a four semester in a row period, which for you as a cohort one early adopter, you'll actually have some of this under your belt when you go into internship. So that is the formal presentation. And you are now in the Q&A where um, we can go a little less formal and answer any questions that you might have. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Okay. Yeah, okay. And now I can see you again. Okay. I do have one um, question. So um, after we start this semester, is it like a type of thing where you have to apply each semester after? Or is it once you apply, you're in for those three years? Or how does that work? Once you apply, you'll be in for the four. Yeah. Um, for the four, you don't have to reapply. Okay, because yeah, because that was my question. Because I'm in a cohort right, or I'm in a like a cohort right now, and every single semester we have to reapply to go back. And I was just wondering if it was kind of the same thing. No, not in this case, unless for some reason you moved or transferred schools yeah. or. Um, or I don't know, had some problem that you weren't going to be at the College of Ed anymore. Yeah. Okay. So that once you're in, you're kind of stuck with us. <laughs> okay. No, that's a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> One less stressor, right? For real, it really is. Um, uh, and then we're, when I was on the website, it said we're just specifically working for inside of Duval County Public Schools. And so are we, you said it was all virtual, so it's kind of like a Zoom type of thing? Yeah, they'll be um, probably through Canvas. And yes, um, it's gonna be synchronous and asynchronous. So there'll be some things that you can do on your own. Like let's say, let's say in my class, I'm the computational thinking person. Mm -hmm. And so in my class, everyone is gonna learn how to code. Everyone is gonna learn how to build a robot. Everyone is gonna learn all of those things. And you might have um, an assignment to, do these modules out of an online coding curriculum that's widely used in the school district, you're not gonna need to be on a Zoom for that. But then when we talk about what you learned and how we can infuse that into your content, that would be the kind of thing. So we'll do more of the um, pedagogical and deep dive things together. And we'll do some of the things where you might pace yourself going through a module and you might sit there and do it for six hours or you might do it over time. So we're very flexible with that. Okay, thank you. That and I think you asked about Duval County Schools. So we, this grant is geared to Duval County Public Schools and we're working in, um, you may have learned about this in some of your courses already. We're working in um, what you would call the um, economic opportunity zone or um, the heart of the urban core where there's the greatest need and the least access to um, these kind of resources. Yes, ma'am, that's perfect. Because the, the reason that I kind of was like, oh my gosh, is because I want to stay in Duval County and my uh, kind of what I'm heading towards is to lower income schools is where I want to teach. So I saw this and I was like, I have to, I have to at least apply. I mean, come on. So. Yes, yes. Yes. And that's exactly where we're working in this project in um, the poorest areas that have actually been designated by the federal government as economic opportunity zones, meaning that they need resources and they need, what we don't wanna do is get kids all into CS careers and get them to leave. We mm -hmm. want them to go into these STEM careers and make their community stronger and, um, and work to really lift 
their own um, entire community. No, absolutely. That's, that's awesome. And that's what I was excited to hear for. So thank you. You're welcome. And we saw, and I saw your application. So, um, um, so you're in the system, you, you know, everything's all good for that. And so I don't know if I can let you know or not, but so we'll probably be making our decision sometime in, in mid to late March, just um, we'll be processing the DCPS applications for the current teachers and also our teacher candidates, which will have, we have 15 slots for um, the teacher candidates. And so, um, so we'll be making that decision pretty quickly after, after we um, get started. Yes, after, the de after the deadline has expired is what I meant. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you guys so much for talking to me about this. Thank you for oh, coming so tonight. And, you know, do let some of your other friends know about the program um, because we really do want to reach as many as we can and give you guys a real leg up going into um, your coursework, your internships, and of course, your career. Of course. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. You too, Lexi. Thank good you. Good luck to you. Enjoy the semester.